Good evening. News 3 at 5 is coming up in just a couple of seconds. Here's a look at what we'll have for you at that time. A massive bus crash sends a group of El Dorado High School students to the hospital. In our top story, we'll talk to family members and tell you when the students might return home. Well, it's good enough for News 3 at 5. Stay with us. Broke in uh, into the back of the first truck. Bus number two swerved and the back of it got hit. And he could have taken that bus right over the, the bridge and probably killed half the kids in this bus. A pileup on a California freeway sends dozens of Las Vegas kids to the hospital. Good evening, everyone. I'm John Daly. And I'm Kathy Ray. Four buses packed with El Dorado High School students were heading to a band competition at Knott's Berry Farm when the accident took place. News 13's Alyssa Hahn is live in the newsroom now with the latest. Alyssa, any serious injuries? John, only one. We're told 27 people were taken to the hospital. One was in critical condition. The rest suffered only minor injuries. Now, this accident happened on Highway 60 in Pomona, California. Witnesses say it started when the leading bus was cut off by another car. Um, he had nowhere to go because he was right next to his bridge adjustment, and he could have taken that bus right over the, the bridge and probably killed half the kids in this bus. But um, through his uh, brave uh, courage and whatever, he handled the bus and he did hit a car, but everybody, there's no fatalities. That's what's important. They are smiles of relief from these El Dorado High School students. They are among the uninjured. 150 El Dorado band members were on their way to a competition when their buses slammed into each other in a chain reaction. Bus number two swerved and the back of it got hit and everyone's really shaken up in there. I saw, I looked out the window and saw these things going on. I'm like, oh my gosh. We looked up and we were about to hit a bus and we swerved and missed it and then we got hit from the back. The students and their chaperones were on four tour buses owned by KT Services here in Las Vegas. Two other vehicles were also involved in the accident. The California Highway Patrol said at least a dozen people needed immediate attention, while others had minor injuries. As for the cause of the accident, the CHP is still investigating. We believe that, that it definitely relates to speed. Again, we're told that the buses were carrying about 150 students, 30 adult chaperones. Only one person was critically injured, but John, again, we're told that is not a student that was injured, critically injured at least. Okay, Alyssa, thank you very much. You know, the high schoolers involved in the Pomona crash are on their way back to Las Vegas at this very hour. They are set to arrive at El Dorado High later this evening, around 7 o'clock or so. But we do have some reaction now from some uh, students out there today. Because nobody said anything about an accident or anything. I didn't think they would have announced it or something. I don't know what, you know. I hope they are all right, you know. Yeah. This is the first that you've heard about it? Yeah. Yeah, but well, I heard they left this morning. I was like, dang, because I was in band this year, and I got out of it. I was, I was like, damn, you know what I'm saying? I'd have probably, I'd have went on a trip, you know? And I'd have probably got hurt, you know what I'm saying? I'd probably been the one that got hurt, you know? And News 13's Christy Mahoney is standing by live right now at the high school with the latest out there. Christine, what's the mood out there? Well, basically, the mood earlier today was one of confusion. Students here at the school, as you just heard, said they were not even aware that their fellow bandmates and classmates were involved in an accident. But school officials, and Ray Willis is here right now to tell us that there has been a little bit of misinformation. In fact, some of the parents thought that their students, their children, may have been seriously injured. Ray says that's not the case. I think the main message we want to get across is that uh, no students were seriously injured. In fact, uh, uh, to our estimation, we have no reports of actual injuries. All 27 of the students who were taken to the hospitals, various hospitals in Southern California to be observed. Observation released. and released. And so another thing we do want to point out, the buses may be getting back a little bit later than we expected. Instead of about around 7 o'clock, we may be expecting those students somewhere between 9 and 11 p.m. So parents should be aware of that. But come on out. All of the students who left on the bus trip will be returning here tonight. Back to you. And let's hope we have everything really clarified by tonight at 11 o'clock. Thanks a lot, Christy Mahoney. A scary ride in California for high school students from Las Vegas.